What is going on, Internet? My name is Lou, and I make Linux videos. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the fourth episode in my Switching to Fedora Linux video series, and we're going to be covering the topic of font rendering. So before we get into that, right at the top of the video, we're going to go over some housekeeping issues. Uh, two things. I've always asked about my wallpaper and my icon theme, so I'm going to be including a link in the video description below to download my wallpaper as well as a link to the icon theme I'm currently using. And uh, so let's get that out of the way. Now, font rendering is something that impacts uh, our day-to-day -day experience with a Linux distribution. And I've been struggling with font rendering in Fedora ever since 15, Lovelock, which was essentially the first release uh, of GNOME 3 and GNOME Shell in Fedora. And I've been implementing this fix anytime I've used Fedora since then, and it's always worked like a charm. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Uh, we're simply copying and pasting two commands into terminal and installing one package. Literally, that's it. Uh, so when I say terminal, I know it freaks a lot of people out, but uh, most of us can easily handle copying and pasting. Uh, I think if you can copy and paste, you can get this done. So let's get into it. First things first, I have a brand new installation of Fedora 21 here in boxes. For those of you that have um, been commenting on my videos when you've seen me use this, I will be doing a Boxes review in the very near future. Boxes is the GNOME virtualization software found within Fedora 21. It is excellent in my opinion. I absolutely love Boxes. So we're going to be talking about that in the future. So what we want to do now is we need to get some uh, repositories squared away. If you've been following me since episode one, the RPM Fusion repositories should already be set up for you in your system. If not, we're going to go over and do that right now. So if we come over here to Google, type in RPM Fusion, uh, the very first link that comes up, you're going to click on here where it says configuration. Configuring RPM Fusion is extremely simple. Anyone using Fedora 14 to the most current version, which is 21, all you've got to do is this. Copy and paste. When you copy and paste this here in the terminal, hit enter. Supply your password. This is going to install the free and non-free repositories. We're going to select yes and hit enter. Now we're going to run a sudo yum update and supply my password done all right that's it guys rpm fusion repos are now installed okay so very next thing that we're going to want to do is copy and paste those two lines I was just talking about. These will be in the video description below. So you're going to copy and paste these two lines up here uh, one at a time. So you'll copy and paste this line here into terminal uh, and then we're going to hit enter. I've already done so. I'll do it for the sake of the tutorial. Um, but all you've got to do is copy this. I've already created this symbolic link again so it's going to tell me there's nothing to do. Hit enter. That's it. Failed to create it because the file already exists. You're going to do the same, same exact thing here. Okay. Create that symbolic link. And then we're going to install one package. What I want to do is I want to do a yum search free type free world. So what I think happened here is we forgot a dash. Let's try it now. Password. There we go. All right. So it's uh, free type dash free world. Let's select yes, hit enter. Select yes again, hit enter. Done. Now, uh, all we need to do is we'll close without saving. We're going to reboot our machine. This should go very quickly here in the virtual machine. All right, very good. Let's log in. Awesome. So now 
Uh, after this is implemented, I've also noticed that there was issues still within the browser for font rendering. So I made a few changes. If you're using Firefox, this is applicable, the same steps, regardless of what web browser you're using, but Fedora 21 comes with Firefox. You're gonna go into your preferences, and the default fault here, default font is serif. We're gonna change that to Cantarell. If you come in here to advanced, uh, what I did was, let's open up my web browser here, and come over to content. So as you can see, oh, there we go. I have my default font set up to Cantarell, come to advanced, and here are all the options. Sans serif, I also changed to the Cantarell font. I left monospace the same. Proportional is only gonna give you these two options. Um, I left everything else the same, okay? So just click okay. Now, th this is a better default font. The anti-aliasing is better than the selection that comes uh, by default with Firefox, okay? So now it's gonna use the Cantarell font instead of uh, the default one. So once you start, restart Firefox, in fact, it doesn't even really require us to uh, restart, you're gonna be squared away. And that's it, guys, it's that simple. Font rendering has now been fixed in Fedora 21, so you can enjoy nice, legible fonts. Now, you can also further tweak this if you want to by going into GNOME Tweak Tool. You'll have to install this. Uh, you can do so using software, which is the application found within Fedora 21, or if you come into terminal and simply do a yum search, um, you can even do the word tweak. You're going to see GNOME Tweak Tool right here. So then it's as simple as yum install, actually sudo, sudo yum install GNOME Tweak Tool. Now I've already done this. So of course there's gonna be nothing left to do. And that's it. Install GNOME Tweak Tool. Come down here to where it says fonts. Um, I haven't messed around with any of these options under fonts. I left everything the way it is. So as you can see, it's all identical. So um, I didn't change any of these and I think the font rendering looks spot on. Looks just like it should. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So you can tweak around more if you want to change the anti-aliasing or the hinting or the scaling or mess with the fonts. You can go and download um, Droid Sans or even the Ubuntu font. I believe the Droid font is actually in, in the RPM Fusion repos. If we do a yum search, um, Droid. Here it is right here. You can install it right out of the uh, repos, which is google-droid-sans fonts. They even have the mono ones or the serif ones as well. Uh, and you can use those if, if you wanna use those. Um, and that's how you correct the uh, font rendering in Fedora. Again, I've tested this all the way up through Fedora 21 and it works like a charm. Uh, try this on your system. Leave a comment in the comment section below if this has improved font rendering for you. I hope it did. And as always, guys, until episode five, we will talk to you next time.